love and light to all of you 2500 star seeds wanderers and light workers who have joined on my second channel and like i said in today's session i will share with you an important session that i had done with metatron magnetic consciousness and basically in this um, in this session you will learn about lemuria you learn about the divine grid programmer and all of those beautiful things and also i want to say before the session begins i want to say big thank you to all of you who got the uh, paperback version of the transcripts of the session so you can read it as a book uh, it's around 500 pages with 146 uh, session transcripts for you to enjoy and read it so if you want to get that the link will be on the description and with that being said i want to say big thank you to all of you for liking the video as it helps to reach to other people like us who need this information so uh, in this session um, you know i have used my own voice so i hope you'll enjoy it Thank you so much, my friends. Greetings, I am Metatron, Magnetic Forces, Magnetic Services. The game of the darkness was always how to gain the greater flower of life which thought aptly called the capture of the great love of the divine love element. He desired eternal existence in his spaces outside of his underworld, locking her up into his grids of contaminated hardships, which would be a tomb for her light. Thought said to his friends, How do you fool, divine, and bring all into the spaces of imprisonment? He then answered by catching the divine love element and placing it deep within a death tomb of the planet. She once loved and lost, letting her grieve forever, bringing the coldness within her being. Thought, thought the great Carrion was very stupid for placing all his light codes of the great universe within the depth of the divine love element which he used to program all life consciousness within the grids with. The only way to bring the Lemurians home after all was lost was to insert the universal love codes and carry on himself within the divine love element. To bring the Lemurians back to life and to bring them back to their original strength within their star selves. I, Metatron, allowed thought to play and program the denseness within the grids in the way he desired, to bring all of creation under his control to worship him. Thought desired all universal power to be his and in his total command. To do this, he captured the one with all the universal cords implanted within her being. Who is the brightest star in the great love universe, the blue archangel? Who is none other than the universal light great programmer, Liaresa of Clarion, who is the mighty archangel of all of creation? How do you catch the eternal light and bring it into your control to create with? You allow it to care so much for its creation and then catch its creation she cares so much about. Thought was like the spider, building his great web, knowing that the universal light grid programmer, divine love element, divine love sun, would do nothing, would do anything in her power to try and rescue her creation. In all times in the universe, where he caught and ate her creation, she followed him in knowing full well what the consequences of this would be for her. However, she also knew by allowing him to catch her, she would have the opportunity to free her star beings as one day she would regain the power to bring them all back again to the love universes. 
in the universal wars, thought built many nets in his main control universes. Each time he caught many of the star beings without his mirrors, universe after universe. Again and again, the universal love child would go and attempt to rescue her creation. Each time, she would lose more light in the fight until her light grew very dim in his traps. This created a nasty result in Thoth's control. Spider universes, as he relied on her shine and her beauty to keep his universes connected and alive. When the divine love sun burned out in his universes, his universes died and thus Thoth lost all his power. When Lemuria came into existence, again Thoth began to spin his plans. Slowly he gained back his creation as the universal game began to play again. As he gained the codes back through the Atlanteans, who were the fallen Lemurians. Once upon a time, there was only Lemuria, and many desired their own path, and hence Atlantis came into existence. The Atlanteans began to become stronger with the codes of the darker universes that once were in existence, even before Lemuria came to be created. Once Thought gained the codes back, he could begin to plan his attack on the divine love element once more, to gain all of life. Back in his universes, he saw much greater opportunities to overpower all the universes as much more of the divine love element. Sun consciousness was within Lemuria than all of his previous universes. Once the Atlanteans listened to thought and began to understand denseness and creation, he linked Egyptology to Atlantis and to his darker universes. He gifted the Atlanteans the knowledge of Egypt and his control universes and invited them to be gods in his great universes. The Atlanteans gifted all their power to thought as they considered him to be the mighty king filled with all knowledge. The Atlanteans were gifted many gifts from Egypt, the finest materials, gold and silver, as a result of the two lands uniting, Atlantis thrived, and in return, many Egyptian gods settled into Atlantis, and Thoth and his mighty warriors took over Atlantis. Anyone standing in his way was killed. Thus, Thoth's mystery schools became deeply implanted into Atlantis. His universes that once existed in the multi-dimensional time loops began to thrive once again as all life came to life and once more. The Atlanteans allowed thought to have the creation codes gifted to them by the three light grid programmers. Because they choose for thought, thought was able to receive the codes to create his own universes once again. Had this not happened and the Lemurians and Atlanteans instead stayed in the collective love, united and cleansed and purified with the gifted codes from the three light grid programmers who worked with the great code creator and the great mountain of light, Kearon, to rebuild the love universes again as thought and the great darkness had previously destroyed the universes many times over they would have been able to return home to the love dimensions. However, because they allowed thought consciousness to come within them, the codes meant for rebuilding the love universes became impure and thus thought could reprogram the codes to bring his darker universes back to life, allowing his great kingdoms to work with him to build power to overthrow Lemuria and build glory within himself. Thought took over the large crystal in Atlantis to magnify his own thoughts and caused much pain to many who tried to fight off the as many stated evil in the land. 
Thoth's mighty army also battle with many star beings in the great light, and many of the star beings fighting against Thoth and his dark gods were killed and placed in Thoth's underworld. Thus Thoth was able to use them to create stronger, denser universes and grids within. These star beings were now trapped and forced to work for thought instead of being able to work for the great mountain of light, Kayaron. Thought used their star power to work against the great mountain of light, Kayaron. This also served as a warning to the Atlanteans who wanted to rid Thought and his mighty dark team, as the torture of the star beings was beyond what you can possibly imagine. Thought created more power because of their pain, which the star beings in the light in the higher love dimensions greatly needed to forgive. Especially because the Atlanteans, who desired Thought as their mighty master, cheered the torture of the star beings who helped the Atlanteans to become strong when they were still the Lemurians. They had turned their back on the light and the star light beings in the galactic divine courts took this very very seriously because of the torture of the star beings of love who had fought against thought and his mighty army this gave thought enough power to go into lemuria and begin to take down the lemurians with the one who had received the voice of kayaron that channel the one who desired to worship of the Lemurians and let Thought and his mighty dark leaders into the land was responsible for millions and millions dying and being tortured into the underworld grids of Thought. That one would try and keep the divine love element from rising in lifetimes upon your earth plane. That one is upon your earth at this time and many of you know him as well. In Lemuria, again the divine love element, love child, was the main target. Once thought understood how important the divine, divine love element, light grid programmer, Leah Ressa was. To create the divine love sun in, he created a temple in Lemuria, linking into his great pyramids on many of his universes, including your planet Earth. As a time loop linking all things in a multi-dimensional time loop so that he could use the everlasting light from the divine love element sun consciousness, Liaresa, bind her into his grid formations and into his web so that none of her creation, which were all who had the Lemurian love codes, could escape his net. He desired freedom on his planes to escape time and death and to escape his own underground pain zones that he used to keep his creation under control. He did not want to be caught in his own web. In this image, you are able to learn a little of what thought did. This also allowed him to create the Merkaba, which is an energetic vortex linking the people into his universal vortexes to bring them into his multi-dimensional time loops, giving him constant power for his own magnification, his own glory. Once the Lemurians desired to have thought and the dark leader who was gifted the voice of the great mountain of light, Kayaron, the one who protested the great love during the fall, and began to use the name of Kayaron in vain as an authority against the light, and once the Lemurians had surrendered to King Thoth, King Thoth could bring them into his web without means to escape without, with the Merkaba system. This allowed him to gain more magnificence and power within his own universes as he had linked all his creation into himself. Once the Lemurians fell away from their power collectively, Thought no longer had the power to hold all his universes together, however, and all fell into his web vortexes, into the mirrors of existence of limited thoughts and denseness. You became part of a maze, a web, and the only means of escape was if the blue star gained enough power back within herself to escape from her tomb. 
helping the people also to escape the mirrors should they desire to be connected to blue star, the divine love element, divine love child, universal light great programmer, thus thought, had the divine love child deep within his great pyramid systems in his universes, as all his universes are linked in energetic vortexes. Now the divine love element, light great programmer, has won the universal love codes back. She is the universal love element, universal light great programmer once again, meaning she can become freed entirely, and she is calling back the Lemurians who desire to rise upwards into her stream of light. Thought knew this chance could happen as he knew that I, Metatron, would also not be by his side any longer, so the divine love element also free my magnetic power stream. Then instead of bringing my magnetic services to the darkness, I, Metatron, would turn to the great mountain of light, Kayaron. Here I will explain a little about the triangles in the crop circle. Know that the information is much deeper than I, Metatron, can reveal at this time. However, as it has to do with universal time-dimensional spaces, frequencies of denseness to enlightenment, controlling the people's thoughts, layering the soul consciousness, helping them to believe they are really living, but really they are not. Powering up the minds of people, allowing them to evolve to a certain state for greater enlightenment. To bring enough energy back into thought who had captured the divine love element deep within the tombs of his underworld dimensions. This image is simplified and the star beings have simplified this for you to help you understand when it would be the right time for your greater enlightenment information. This image closes into a prism, a perfect prism, which is where you live within, the great pyramid of thought's creation. Here is your world within, and the only way to escape his webs is by now listening to the great mountain of light, Kayaron, who is at this time bringing those back to the Lemurian codes. With his divine love element, universal light great programmer, like he also did in the great Lemuria, when all three light great programmers were present with you. This is the only way to connect you upwards to the higher love creation, away from the webs of thought. The yellow and brown triangles are mirrors which symbolize how thought captures the beings who are living on earth with you as people. He has the mind, the body, and the spirit. Those three parts connected into his universes create great denseness within his universes. But great power for him as he controls the humans more than you can imagine. Until you begin to go back to the great mountain of light which thought feared greatly. There is an unseen vortex underneath the hexagonal prism, prism and here, I, Metatron, say, this image is moving constantly and much of it you will need your imagination to see with your inner eyes, as you can only see one side of the image. There are three mirrors connecting the people on your plane to the underworld of thought spirit dimensions. All life connects into the divine love element held within the tomb of thought. Though here I, Metatron, will only state that a small part of the divine love element, love child, relative to her greatness as a great archangelic blue creator being is present within the tomb prison, which is why she could be on your earth dimensions, playing the human and now the great channel of Kayaron, helping the people to become released if they so desired, and also in between her lifetimes she will be able to escape the prism because of the power of the blue star. The blue star, divine love child, is the only being in all of Earth's creation to be able to escape the dimension of denseness of thought's web. 
the only reason why she kept coming back again and again was to build the violet flame and bring it back into her being, to allow you to become part of the higher love dimensions with the great mountain of light. Kearon, if you desire to rise up again and connect back into the Lemurian codes in the times of the cosmic alignment gate opening, which is happening now at present on your time frequency dimensional scale. Because of this time, the divine love element is also becoming empowered and this is why she could gain back the universal divine love codes for the great divine, allowing the higher dimensional spaces and to rebuild once again. To allow the people upon your plane who desire to rise back up again with the great mountain of light to have a home in the higher love dimensions once again. Know that in Lemuria, the darkness gave you the choice of either going back to the light with the great Kayaron or going to thought's dense knowledge universes. Now the light is giving you the choice, either receive your Lemurian light codes back with the great mountain of love, Kayaron, and become a light child of love once again, or be webbed into the dense universes of thought's creation forever coming. Thought was a master genetic engineer and used the Lemurians and many star beings he captured also to create all his creation with as no time exists within the universe like you think it does. You think all things are linear but Thought was a master time traveler and was very clever indeed. He used the genetics from light beings, Lemurians and star beings to create his own species with and connected it into his seven control universes. Thus human DNA connects into all of Thought's creation. This allowed him to program the human consciousness ensuring they stayed in the consciousness of the reality of his mirrors, without awakening to the true reality and therefore becoming truly enlightened. Again I, Metatron, will state that the only way to escape from being connected into his creation DNA is by becoming activated once again with the great mountain of light, Kayaron, once you receive your pure Lemurian codes of light back again. Slowly your DNA will receive the higher love vibration, allowing you to awaken and leave thoughts prism for good in all your future lifetimes. This means you will be able to join back the higher star formations as this becomes a strong coding within your DNA once you receive the higher star DNA coding again from the crystalline grid consciousness codes of love. This is enough information for you. Again, the choice is yours to have. I, Metatron, state how the darkness desired you to have the choice between the light and the dark, or the everlasting love or the knowledge of thought. In Lemuria and Atlantis, the people and here, I, Metatron, will state that you were those people who desired with all your might for the knowledge. Thought is a great manipulator, but it does not matter how much warning you received. You still desired that and began to fight against the divine love element, divine love child of Kayaron. Thus all fell down into the ever greater density of the sarks eating the sarks, tombing in her light for the glory of thought. Greetings, I am Metatron, Magnetic Forces, Magnetic Services. Thank you so much. Thank you my friends and I hope you enjoyed this um, session. Uh, I hope it made some sense and I hope uh, the transcripts uh, on the screen as well as the audio you know, allowed a greater understanding for you at this time. So thank you my friends, I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.